Hey guys, we had a little mishap on the uh, the free ride. She got done tipped over, and we, we, we ripped the uh, brake reservoir off. I know there's a lot of folks that have been saying that these things are pretty weak. They're made of plastic. As you can see, we ripped a hole right off. Um, or right a hole right in it, can't even talk. Um, blew right off the handlebars here. So, this video, just gonna show you how to throw that back on and I'll bleed the brakes. So, first step is, it looks like there's just, whoa, hey, look at that. Jumping screwdriver. So, looks like there's just one screw that's holding this reservoir on. It snapped off, so we're gonna pop that out of there. The Mountain Sledder Garage guy has a funny video. He actually puts up, uh, he has a full assembled non-broken one. He shows you how easy it is to snap one of these off. He just takes a stick and hits it and it pops right off. Um, Munster makes uh, a full aluminum setup replacement for the stock. Um, but we were in a hurry and we want to get back on the trail and riding. So we just grabbed one of the, uh, the stock set up. Um, in the meanwhile, I'll probably order the um, TKI, provides a, makes a protector for it and also Ski-Doo does. So um, we'll get one of those in the future because I'm sure this is probably going to happen again, especially if you're riding in the trees. But essentially you just put it on there, it kind of goes on only one way, make sure your rubber gasket's on there, take your old one out. Oh. Don't drop it on the motor like that. Um, there's a little hole, pops in like that. Just put your, it comes with a screw. Get your screw in there, get it all mounted up. Like so. Hey guys. I um, wanted to give you a little insight on the brake fluid that we're using for this um, brake reservoir replacement. So I got a little excited and I ran down to the local parts store and I said, hey, I'm you know, flushing out my brake fluid on my snowmobile and uh, what do you guys recommend? And so they gave me some dot five. Well, when I got home, I happened to look at the top of the, the reservoir Okay, it says on there uh, that it recommends dot four. So then I started doing some research, started looking around, and I guess the dot five is a different makeup, um, different chemicals that are used than dot three and four. So uh, I decided to um, hold out and uh, found some other folks that were recommending the uh, the Skidoo Racing brake fluid <laughs> we're all a little bit of a racer when we're out there riding right whether it be on the trail or the mountain we think we're racing at least for a few minutes but um so what i got was the um the ski do xps dot four uh racing brake fluid must make you go faster or stop better right uh so uh, we're gonna put that in there It was on Amazon, fairly cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks. Came pretty quick. Um, so we're gonna fill that up. And we're gonna start cycling the, the fluid through my little contraption here, as you can see. So I just have a, a, um, a clear line so that you can see the fluid coming through. Just do a water bottle, just drill the hole in the top, just to hang it up so the access will go in there. But um, I'll show you as the fluid comes through, we're going to build pressure and try to get all the air out and get all the, get all the new fresh fluid in there. So I'm going to grab some fluid. Start filling up the fluid. Trying to spill it all over the place. Oh, it's purple. Try to pump, start pumping some of that through. I'm just going to pump it through until it's all cycled out. So what I'm doing is I'm just building up some pressure, 
you know, make sure you don't run your reservoir dry, but build up a bunch of pressure, right? Hold it. You'll feel the, the lever get stiffer. And then as you open it up, you feel it get softer and release the pressure. I'm trying to cycle through all the, the older stuff. I want to get all new stuff in there. Just take some time. And as you can see, you can see some of the air bubbles in there, like right here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you'll see the air bubbles coming through. That's why we got this hose hooked up. You can see a lot of air bubbles in there. So that's what we're trying to get cycled out of there and as they're rising to the top. So you really want to keep pumping that up, release the pressure until you don't have any air bubbles in there anymore. And as you feel, feel it get harder and harder each time. So like now when I pump it up three or four times, got a nice stiff lever and then open it up. Especially when you're riding off trail, brakes are important. Use that brake a ton. Use the throttle and brake to get the sled off. Um, get on its side. One thing we're going to do is we're going to actually turn this so that it's it's level. Um, I forgot that part. So I just uh, loosened up the brake perch here and made it level so that way we can make sure that our fluid line looks good and get the, the most amount of fluid in there in the brake reservoir. Looks pretty good. Maybe add a whisker more, just a touch. That uh, brake fluid can be nasty. So we're gonna put this like this, just in case. We got the rag here because it kind of filled it right to the top. And we are going to wipe it down good. Again, try to make sure you don't get on your belt or anything like that. It's no good. Grips. And we'll give it one more squish on the, the lever. Get good, one good pump. we're good for bleeding the brakes um, doesn't take too long it didn't take too long to flush and put all new fluid in there hopefully she runs good we'll get a protector here for it in case we dip her over again and then don't forget to adjust your lever back um, to where it's the best riding position for you and your comfort level thanks for watching